Hello, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to bring you a video on Nextcloud. If you're not familiar with Nextcloud, stay tuned because we're going to show you a walkthrough of the interface and, and why you'd want to use this product. Let's get started. Alright, alright, alright. Here we are. So, I have installed Nextcloud on a uh, machine I have and this one is uh, one of the great things about Nextcloud is that you can install it yourself, host it yourself, or have it hosted, either way. And it's all open source, so you can do this for free. Let's get you logged into this interface. And if you're wondering what Nextcloud is, it is a basically a Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive clone. There we go. <laughs> so here is Nextcloud. This is your basic web interface for it and things you can do in Nextcloud. So if you're familiar with Office 365 or, or Google and their Google Docs and everything, basically you have the ability to do spreadsheets and documents and presentations and all that good stuff in the web here. So it is also, it's Microsoft Office compatible with the documents. So if you want, if you have an existing Excel document, you can go ahead and upload that to your Nextcloud instance and edit it, change it, do whatever you want to it straight on the web. It is uh, very compatible. You know, I mean, you can do all the things you can do in Excel for the most part, the basics. Now, obviously it's, maybe not quite as robust as office but then again office is an expensive product they've been de developing for years so uh, let's let me just show you this spreadsheet here is a spreadsheet and only office is the thing that's integrated in with the current version of nextcloud so when you do a, a fresh install only office is installed by default so here is a excel or a document now you may notice that up here you can do a spreadsheet let me see if i can just zoom in on this stuff here a little bit hey that's a little bigger <laughs> so as i'm doing this so i can do just like you would in excel you know five, four you know boom x9 and you can do all that stuff. So like I said before, you can do charts and graphs and things like that. So if you are a uh, office user, this is pretty much what you got. Also, if you go up here to the file, you get the download as, as you can tell here, you got the XLSX, which is your, your standard default format that uh, Excel spreadsheets come out in now. You can export as a PDF or download as PDF. ODS, which is open document format, which is used by LibreOffice and OpenOffice. So if you have those documents, you can open and save and edit them also using only Office. CSV, and then you have template stuff down here. So let me just close this guy out and go ahead and go to the test document that I have here, which is an ex is a like a Microsoft Office docx. So here it is. And again, it opens an open office, only office, excuse me. And you know, you got all the things you would normally do here. Let's just take that and let's just turn those into that. And boom, again, you go to file, download it. You go to docx, PDF, open document format, text file, RTF, or even HTML. So you have lots of options here. And you know, you can print and all that good stuff too. So let me just point out here that if you look at these and I'll zoom in a little bit here, you see that that says a doc X and this one XLSX. Those are word and Excel document formats. And if you go to this plus sign up here, this is how you create folders, text documents, uh, office documents. So you, you got the Word document, basically, Excel document, basically, and your PowerPoint. Um, and you can create any one of those. Also, upload files. So, like I said, this is like a Dropbox. So you can take your existing files of whatever type 
and upload them to Nextcloud. All right, so that is sort of the basics. In here, you know, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the interface. Deleted files, you can go over the deleted files, and you see right here, here's some deleted files that I had. And disk space use settings. One of the wonderful things about Nextcloud is tags and filters. So, like, let's go and let's just take a look at this this test document I created. We'll look at this this um, format. So, first of all, over here, there's a toggle the grid view. You can do this or this. I prefer this. Sharing a document. And then you have the little ellipses. Where you can add it to favor, look at the details, rename it, move, copy, download, delete file. So let's look at the details here real quick. Opens up this pane over here. And so if you notice, and this is a beautiful thing about Nextcloud also, is you see how the changes, you know, keeps track of some of the changes. You can go and you can add comments, sharing. I look at, check this out, versions, no other versions. So let me look. Let's switch over this Excel document. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't actually want to open it. <laughs> uh, let's go to the details on it, this Excel document that I created here. Okay, so here we are with this Excel document. And you see that there's some changes here. You can go to comments and go to versions and looky right there, three days ago, there's a version of this that I can restore. That is pretty awesome. So keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at the features on this. This is, this is a really awesome, awesome feature. So let me just close that off there. And um, like I said, PDFs. You, you, you know your browser is probably able to open PDFs, so you can just go ahead and do that. Um, videos you know it's going to play a video these are just some examples i don't think there's oh look there's even some photos in here and here's a beautiful thing is you notice that this will is generating thumbnails so it'll generate thumbnails so there's a lot of awesomeness here documents so look they got a couple of documents here's an odt which is the open document format for um libre office and open office and so you'll see that only office is going to go ahead and open that guy up too. If you give it just a second, it'll show that. And there it is. All right. So what else do we have here? Um, you got notifications up here. Up at the top, we have files, photos, activities, mail, contacts, and calendars. That's right, Con mail, contacts, and calendars. This product has many of the features that you would get with Office 365 or G Suite or, or Gmail in general. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now the mail server, the mail portion of it is actually just a mail client. You would need to put your own mail server in there. So if you're using, I don't know, GoDaddy or somebody else, or even Gmail or Office 365, you can you can use the uh, the uh, login setup here. Contacts, similar thing. You can go ahead and add contacts. We'll go to new contact, and everything is in there. Calendar. It's your standard calendar, or you can add stuff in there. Activity over to activity and you see well what all have I done here recently you see I've I've been playing around with this a little bit photos it'll it'll go and it'll look for all your photos so this is this is if, if you're familiar with like I said if you're familiar with G Suite and the Google Drive and 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 Microsoft Office 365 OneDrive then you're gonna this is all gonna look pretty familiar to you and amazing that you can get this in, in a completely free product now like i said you have to host it or you have to host it somewhere so it won't be free if, if you do that so let's go ahead here and look over here is on the top is your login information you got settings 
apps users about help and log out so let's let's just look at about real quick and that's basically just going to give you the next cloud video tour um, if you go to settings it's going to give you a whole bunch of settings it's going to give your user settings and all that information and then you can go down here into security where you can change your password backup codes oh yes it does two-factor authentication all that good stuff uh, you'll look at your activity log so you can choose what you want to get notifications on mobile and desktop so this this is where you can go so you can download the desktop Android app or the Apple app so great options there and yes connect your apps to other clouds you connect your calendar and contacts web dev there's a lot of great stuff here accessibility so they have accessibility options which is awesome you can do high contrast dark theme a couple other things like that sharing you can uh, control a little bit of the sharing stuff there's a federated sharing so like if there are other next cloud servers out there that uh, you or your buddies have that you can do some some uh, sharing between them flow is something new and I'm not entirely certain what this is I think it's just a actually like a uh, if you had a document flow privacy you got information about the privacy now under administration this is this is the important stuff that as an admin you'd want to look at you look at the overview and one of the beautiful things about clicking on the overview is it gives you a security checkup right off the bat now it's giving me a little error here a warning really and it's basically saying that the strict transport header is not set to this large amount um, and basically the HSTS is is just a, a way that like when your browser hits a secure set website it remembers oh that's a secure website it doesn't ever even try to hit the HTTP anymore it just goes directly to the HTTPS so it, it's a good thing and if you're gonna keep this server up for for a long time then that's something you definitely would want to fix um, and so you'll see this is version and all this other stuff basic settings so they have background jobs that can happen Ajax webcron or cron jobs for, for things by default is set at Ajax here's the mail server settings announcements collaboration tags you can go to support uh, so there are forums github chats available on IRC um, they even have subscription keys if you if you uh, want to do some paid for support again we get on to the sharing here are some of the sharing options I'm just gonna just briefly mouse over those um, back into security you can enable two-factor server-side encryption hello this is awesome so you can actually encrypt your files on the server so that even if your server gets compromised so say you're hosting this out in XYZ cloud and uh, you've got this encryption turned on and somehow something happens and someone gets access to the back end of that server your files are encrypted on it so you know they would have to decrypt the files even though they found the files on the server so this is excellent brute force why whitelist so we got some brute force protection here um, password policies this is a great one too so you can say forbid common passwords enforce upper and lowercase and enforce a numeric and special character check password against list of breach passwords this is awesome right here you should definitely be checking this one um, like I said this is the demo for me so I, I don't have that all enable OAuth it's got OAuth capabilities so theming ha here's another fun one so you can go in here in the theming and change how it looks so like this is the background image you want to log in and and so you can change that to make it your own so maybe it's your company's XYZ you can change that change to where it's a cloud XYZ or whatever and you can have a slogan and change the colors uh, so this is this is pretty awesome name 
You got some advanced options down here. So you have the basics of, of doing some theming is pretty, pretty great. Groupware, that's when we're talking about the calendar, the mail and, and everything. So that's, you can do some configuration of that. Only Office, Only Office is built right into this guy. So you, and there's a little bit of things that you can adjust in here through the interface, like what files opens in Only Office. Activity, so send activity emails. So you have the ability to do some notifications here. Uh, flow, again, we're gonna kind of skip over that. Usage survey, interesting. Logging, so you can set your log levels. Um, you'll see there's some things that are popped up in here. I probably need to take care of if I was going to keep this up and then at the bottom is system and this is a great one so as you can see it'll tell me information about this machine this is I named it Debian Nextcloud demo one it's on a Xeon processor with one gig of RAM it's been up for two days uh, you can see the load averages the memory averages the disk usage network information and all these active users and all this great stuff php versions memory limits database and all, all all kinds of wonderful things like that so that is the basics of tour of nextcloud now let me just go ahead and show you a couple things so this settings down here there's the web dev so you can actually connect uh, via web dev to this drives without installing the soft the next cloud software so let me just go oh yeah under setting oh, oh yep yeah. let me go back to this apps this is a great thing so next cloud is extensible there are lots of plugins and features that are that you can put in here so let's go to PDF future, right click menu, um, games, a couple games, monitoring, let's see, what, what, what might be fun, let's see, um, organization, bookmarks, so there, there's lots of, lots of fun things you can install on here, tools, this is a good one, I like tools. So in any case, in my particular case, these are all the things that come in installed by default and turned on video player. You can disable them. Usage survey, all these great, wonderful things. So app bundles, let's see what we got here. I got a social media bundling an education bundling, a groupware bundle, a hub bundle, enterprise bundle. So there's a, a lot of things you can explore here and I'm not going to go over them all, uh, but that's it. So when you go and install the application on your desktop, click this guy and it's going to download. So you can install the desktop app on windows, Mac and Linux. So if you have one of those devices, you are great. You just install this application. Here it is for the mobile. You can get it out of Google Play for your Android or F Droid for your Android or Apple Store. And there's even a Windows Store, um, but I would ignore the Windows Store one. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's our basic tour of Nextcloud. I look forward to next time as I show you how to, to, to spin one of these servers up yourself so you can host your own files and be your own uh, cloud provider, uh, your own Dropbox for your company or your individual uses. Thanks for joining me.